Hello, so it's been all about a year, it was a year and a few months ago that I uh, posted this video about uh, plugging an internal floppy drive into a modern PC that I'd built just a few months prior using a, uh, as we're about to see in the video, yep, this unit here which I got from Hong Kong which converts the signal from um, floppy IDE into USB. Now, uh, I tried it on Windows 10 and uh, it, was, it came up but I wasn't able to get it to read the floppy properly. So since then, I've made a few adjustments, and hopefully we should be, we should be uh, reading a floppy disk today. So as we come down here, we find the floppy drive is in place. Uh, as you can notice, the light is on constantly. Uh, the reason for that seems to be that that's what Linux does with it. Uh, Windows 10 doesn't do, that any, uh, doesn't do that to it. And the main difference is you're probably going to see a light immediately. But still plugging in the same unit. Uh, I've actually, believe it or not, I've fixed the cables up a little bit before... Uh, the floppy was attached to a the USB was attached to a, sec, a USB extender which was going out of this panel here and plugging into the back. Since then, I've routed it through the back of the uh, case itself, and it is coming out of the case hole there and plugging in. So it's a little bit more contained, a little bit neater. So last time I tested this, it didn't quite work, and we were trying out on we were trying out testing it on um, Windows 10. Now what we'll find is. Uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, bu dual booting Windows of Linux. This is Ubuntu GNOME 17.04. And as you can see, uh, similar specs on basically everything as before. The only real difference is about is some more hard drives. And so, uh, file manager I've got up here is Nemo. I decided to replace uh, the default Nautilus with Nemo because I prefer it. We can see in the devices that it is already registering the floppy drive. Now this is floppy disk, but that's just searching for one. It's not actually got one in at the moment. And so to test it, uh, I had to give back those piano books that came with the floppy drives to my uni library, but I have this beast. Now this is a floppy disk I made when I was about six years old. And the reason I'm not showing you the other side is simply because uh, every word written on it, other than my own name, is misspelt. Quite embarrassing, but uh, what else can you do for a kid? So we're going to see what I managed to save on here. Maybe there'll be doom, who knows? So we're going to plug this in and see what we get. See if Linux wants to uh, actually read the floppy. And uh, yeah, let's see what's on the disk. So here we are, about to uh, about to see what's in there. Uh, like I said before, the uh, the light seems to always be on under just Linux. So we'll see what happens when we plug the, the uh, floppy drive itself in. Sorry, the floppy disk itself in. In it goes. Same thing happening there. Check on my system, it's not popped up just yet. Oh, the lights is flashing on and off now, so it's probably reading it. So let's go on to floppy disk and see what we get. Oh, it's reading it. And, oh, system volume information. It looks like I've managed to, either it's corrupted, which I don't think it has, or in my youth I managed to not actually write anything to it. But, this is still good news, uh, I can now uh, have something to read and write floppy disks off. So as far as uh, running, having an internal floppy drive on a modern computer running Linux, you're in luck it'll work. Windows 10 seems to need a bit more work, I'm trying to work that one out. But yeah, if you could convert your uh, floppy drive signal into USB and have that plugged in, you can have a perfectly functional USB drive in your modern computer. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.